Hello, my name is Peter Phelps of Phelps 3D, and in this FreeCAD 016 tutorial, I'm going to quickly go over how to create a kind of a remix part using FreeCAD's tool and two STL files. Now, while technically speaking, you shouldn't use this to rip off someone else's design on like Thingiverse. Sometimes it's interesting to create remixes of other items that you can find on Thingiverse. In this case, all I'm going to do is use a couple of my own designs. One is for my, I belong to a Transformers fan club called the Transmasters, and we have a symbol that I created. And then another of the parts I'm going to use in this example is part of a 3D printed tie, just to demonstrate this principle. Okay, so I have a new new document open file import. I put a couple things on my desktop. V2 tip is part of the tie. It's the very tip part. So if we look at it like that. And I have it standing up because it's easier to print that direction. Then I'm going to also import file import and transmaster symbol scale five percent. Well, depending on how they were designed or what I was doing, for some reason they were way apart. Which to move to which? I know it's not on. I'm going to rotate the tip so it's flat just for this example. Move that not by Z but by X. And maybe that's why it's. That's one thing I don't like about the rotation thing. Sometimes it can totally. I think it rotates around like the the origin somehow. So instead of rotating just the object, you're rotating the entire position. Um, Blender doesn't do that. Blender. Blender's a little smarter, I think. Sorry, this. <laughs> so 
I really think it's long to do this. Okay, that's close to that. Maybe. Basically, I want to put the symbol on top of that. It's just resting on top of it. Still not there. Okay, so. It's right on top of the other objects. Okay, now we can move, move it along. And then you can copy and paste those. Make a bunch of them. Now, to make this easier to see, you might want to change the color. You can, you can change the color of the objects. So, You know that they're just meshes. This way it's easier to see between them. If you really wanted to, you could probably turn these into arrays, but then I'm just going to manually. Eyeball type. I'm using a scroll wheel to move the numbers up and down, but you could use an arrow. The arrows or type in your own figures if you wanted. What you could use is like that one. It's x is zero, but y is negative two sixty seven.
I'm going to switch side looking from the top. And then we can move those around. Okay. And once you got it all laid out the way you think it was, you can or file, save, and I call it TM. So it basically is and select everything by clicking and going shift and go file export. STL file, then we'll want to check a netfab basic just to make sure. There's your STL file. And since we don't have a little red triangle, this is most likely printable. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.